Do you want a tattoo, but you're too scared of the pain? Well, this video is going to be for you. Run the intro. So let's kick it off with pain. It's going to hurt. Like whoever says to you, oh, mine didn't hurt, mine didn't hurt, whatever. You're a liar, they're liars, they're fucking lying. Stop, ready? Pinch your skin until there's blood. Does it hurt? Exactly. Depending on where you want the tattoo, what I would suggest is starting with the arms, maybe. Maybe you want to get a full sleeve. For me, my chest hurt. Um, and my and the side of my neck. A guy called Aston Reynolds in Norwich, he did my neck, the front of my neck, and the side of my neck, and my back. In my experience, like down the center of the chest was pretty shit. Around the nipples was pretty shit. And around, like, the collarbone for me was horrific. The collarbone was a bitch. Like, in this little indent here, where your collarbone is, and your neck, is shit. It's very, very, very sore. On the scale of one to 10, one being I can deal with this for seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 hours, and 10 being jumping off of the bed, get the fucking needle out of me, I would say that's a fucking 9.8, 10, 100%. For me, different people say differently. <clears throat> it all depends on your pain threshold. If you've got a shit pain threshold, don't get tattooed. Do you know why? If it's a big piece, the artist won't be able to finish the piece. Like, it doesn't really matter to us if we finish it, but we have to get to a point where we can rough bloodline it or light line it in, get to a point where we can start it next time, if you know what I mean? So you're going to have to sit through something. The first 10 to 15 minutes can be really bad, and then your body just gets used to it. First 10, 15, 20 minutes, the pains are like, like your body's like, fuck, what is this? What's going on? After that, you, uh, your body kind of like sends, uh, <laughs> the body kind of sends like signals to the area that's getting tattooed and kind of numbs it up a bit. If you're thinking about a leg sleeve, then uh, the knee, around the kneecap is bad. Around the kneecap's bad. The actual on top of the kneecap, I thought was okay. I thought that on top of the kneecap was fine for me. It still hurt, but it wasn't nowhere near as bad as around the kneecap. Back of the knee, so the little flexy bit, the back of the knee was really bad. Um, in here, the elbow, elbow in the rim and all that. The elbow was really bad. <clears throat> in here, towards the wrist area, I've blacked mine out, but wrist, hands, like palms of the hands and palms of the feet, the soles of the feet, palms of the feet. Soles of the feet and the palms of the hands are fucking bad. And the wrist was bad. The wrist is really bad. Uh, this bit of the, uh, the um, crease is bad. Around the top of the shoulder, I've, I found was bad as well. Um, but all this was cool, all this was cool, all this was cool. Legs are a bitch for me. I can't stand legs. Legs to get tattooed on. Like my thigh wasn't too bad, but Legs in general, I hated. I thought they were really, really intense and it didn't, like my body didn't get used to it, if you know what I mean? Like after the 10, 15 minutes, you get used to it. My body didn't get used to it on my legs at all. My back, I sat for six hours on my back through lining and lines hurt more than, than the shading. I've tattooed hundreds and hundreds of people and they've reacted the same way as well. They fucking hate the lining. It's bearable, it's bearable, which is why it's so addictive. A lot of people, like work themselves up, um, don't know how it's gonna feel, feel like really nervous, and this is what I said in my last video, if you haven't watched that, about preparing yourself, preparing your body, go check it out. This is where you need to feel relaxed, because if you're too worked up, then the body's just gonna go haywire as soon as you start tattooing, and you're just gonna be like, what the fuck, what am I? And then once the body's gotten over it and it's happened, then they're fine throughout the whole tattoo session. I think tensing, when you're getting tattooed, if you tense up and you're like, ah, it hurts more. Do not tense. Try and relax yourself as much as you can. What I would suggest as well is bring like more clothes because when you get tattooed afterwards, if it's quite a big tattoo, um, depending on how fast the artist is, if it's a big tattoo, then your body is going to go into a bit of shock, a bit of trauma, 
um, which is natural. So it will get like a bit cold and a bit shivery. So make sure you bring loads of like a, a spare pair of socks, a good nice hoodie or a nice jacket or something, a nice cuddly jacket, and be, and don't wear your best clothes. Wear really comfortable clothes. Wear like a tracksuit or like jogging bottoms, a nice big big jumper or something, depending on where you're getting tattooed. Um, and and people, when I need to tattoo your legs, yeah, wear shorts, wear shorts. Don't wear your pants, your underwear. I'd rather you wear shorts. Just a disclaimer for people that are gonna book in for leg sleeves. It's not really hygienic. You sat with your sweaty ass on the fucking bed, lad, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You fucking sweaty ass on the fucking bed, and then you're like, oh, because you do sweat when you get tattooed, by the way. Your body's like, ah, so it reacts in that way, and you sweat. <laughs> <laughs> you sweaty fucking ass on that bed, because when you need to stretch, and I see a fucking bum print on the fucking bed, that ain't nice, all right? Um, not, I'm not saying that's happened either, by the way. Um, but I can just imagine it happening in my head, that's fucking weird. So yeah, so, oh, what a nice fucking sunset. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, it is. So, um, yeah, so, uh, Payne White, is that a spider? No, okay. What the fuck is that? It's a bug. It's a little, little bug. Let's go over the most common places to get tattooed. Let's do one to 10. Tops of feet, I'd say eight upwards, eight to 10. Um, in here, I would say five to seven. Um, the arms around the top of the shoulder can be like an eight to 10. Uh, in here can be the eight to 10. The wrist can be a seven to nine, um, eight to 10 as well, slash and the rest of the arm is probably like a five, um, like four or five. The neck, um, it's not that common, but it's becoming more, more popular. The neck, I would say the front of the neck is fine. I would say it's like a five. Um, the sides of the neck, like this bit of the neck's fine. The, the top bit going behind your head is a bit shit. I would say that's like a seven around here, um, here's fine. Down towards the collarbone is a straight up nine, 10, like I said earlier. Chest, I would say, outside towards the armpits area, that's, I would say a fucking nine. Um, down the middle, nine, 10. Um, around the nipples, I would say eight, nine. Um, and then across the collarbone, I would say nine, 10, 100%. Um, but again, different people are different. You know, everybody's not the same. Everybody's body isn't the same. And it depends on your pain threshold. If you're quite good with pain, then you'll be fine. Um, you'll probably sit four, five, six hours, seven hours, as long as you prepare your body. So if it's a small tattoo, it'll be done in like an hour tops, hour and a half tops. So you'll be fine as well. Um, you'll grim and bear it. So even if a place is like a, a eight or a nine um, or a 10, you could probably go for an hour easy for that. Um, and then, it, you know, you might have to take a break. But when you get to like obscure places like your ass crack or like around your groin area or like around the back of the knee or um, your elbow's pretty bad as well. Um, and your head, your head's pretty shit. Like, it gets to a point where you think, okay, it's fucking sore, you know? But legs are pretty sore, um, uh, in my experience, and tattooing people as well. But I tattooed a guy from Switzerland. He came over, bless him. Um, Florian came over, and he got tattooed for two days solid on his legs, and I did, like, nearly a half leg sleeve all down one side, um, across his knee as well. Um, in two days and he sat there for five six hours a session so we've done over 10 hours now on his on his leg um, and yeah he you know he, it really hurt him fucking beeping all the time man but you know he relaxed his body he was on his phone he's watching films listening to music getting comfortable do you know what I mean so eating food 
uh, having a really good night's sleep. You know, everybody's body's different and it depends on your pain threshold. If you're all right with pain, then you're gonna be fine. And um, so yeah, so if you wanna ask me in the comments what place you're wanting to get tattooed, let me know because I will give you a pain rating. I'll give you Oliver's pain rating. Obviously it's not official, but I will try my best to help. Um, and I'll give you a pain rating on how bad it's, I've witnessed people reacting and how if I've had it done, the place that you want it, I'll give you a shout as well. I'll give you a, a rating um, for what I felt. So, so yeah, it's all good in the hood, man. Hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Give me, mate, subscribe, man. Oh, well, listen though, thank you so much for watching and um, I hope I'll see you in the next video. All right? Stay beautiful, people.